meteors. In this video, we are going to learn all about meteors, what they're made of, and more. Did you know that shooting stars are not really stars? These beautiful streaks of light are actually called meteors. So, what's a meteor? Meteors are pieces of rock that fall from space, and sometimes we call them shooting stars. Each year, there are thousands that fall harmlessly from the sky. You might even look up at the sky sometime and see one or many. Meteors begin as meteoroids. If a space rock stays in the solar system, it is called a meteoroid. Meteoroids are pieces of metal or rock that break off comets or asteroids when they crash into each other in space. They can also form from debris left behind by a comet. When meteoroids fall through Earth's atmosphere, they are then called meteors. When meteors fall, they make a bright streak of light. Earth's atmosphere heats the meteor up due to friction from the air. The heat then causes the gases around the meteor to glow brightly. It's that bright streak of light that we call shooting stars. It might sound a bit scary that a space rock could fall through Earth's atmosphere, but most meteors don't fall to the Earth. Most are burned up in our atmosphere. And the thousands of meteors that actually do reach Earth's surface every year are no larger than a pebble. When a meteor actually does reach the Earth's surface, it changes names again. Can you guess what a meteor that reaches the Earth's surface is called? Those are called meteorites. Phew! Meteoroid, meteor, and meteorite sure seems like a lot of names for one rock to have. Thousands of meteorites hitting the Earth's surface each year seems like a lot, but very few are ever found. That's because most fall into the ocean, or they land in places where people don't live or they aren't seen because they fall during the daytime when it's light outside and hard to see their glow. So don't worry, you're safe. What's a meteor made of? Great question. Some meteors are made up of oxygen and silicone, which are called silicates. Others are made up of heavy metals like iron and nickel. Not the kind of nickels in your pocket, silly. And some meteors are made up of dust particles. These are called stony meteors. Another name! They are lighter and more fragile than meteors made up of metal. And many stony meteors are only the size of a grain of sand. That's tiny! What is the largest meteorite that ever been discovered on Earth? Oh, what a great question! The largest meteorite to ever hit Earth is named Hoba a word that means gift. It is located in Namibia, Africa. Hoba weighs 60 tons. That's 120,000 pounds. Even bigger than a humpback whale. Wow, that is large. Even though Hoba is extremely heavy, most meteorites are quite small and weigh less than a pound. What is the oldest meteorite that been discovered on Earth? Another great question. One meteorite called the Fukang meteorite was a very rare discovery. It was discovered in the mountains near Fukang, China. This meteorite is believed to be about 4.5 billion years old. That means that it is about the same age as our planet or even older. What is a meteor shower? Thanks for asking this great question. If more than one meteor burns up in Earth's atmosphere, then you get a meteor shower. A meteor shower looks like thousands of shooting stars falling from the sky. Meteor showers can be predicted throughout the year. The next time you see a shooting star, let everyone know it's really a meteor. That was once a meteoroid. And if it makes it through Earth's atmosphere and hits the ground, it is known as a meteorite. Your family and friends may mistake you for an astronomer. 
but you can explain that you're just a really smart kid. Okay, really smart kid, are you ready to test your space rock skills? See if you know the answers to these three questions. What is the name of the largest meteorite that's ever been discovered on Earth? Hoba. That's right! What is the real name for a shooting star? A meteor. You got it! What are the two other names for a meteor? Meteoroid and meteorite. You were right, and you really are a smart kid. Hey, Penny, want to hear a joke? Oh, oh, okay. What type of shower wouldn't you want to bathe in? Uh, I don't know. What type? A meteor shower, of course. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.